Hi, this is going to be a demo of how to set up um, an Expert Sleepers ES4 gate expander with a drum rack in Ableton Live uh, to control a bunch of drum triggers. Here's my uh, ES4 and my ES4 gate expander here. Um, these six outputs are connected down to these um, MFB drum modules, which are then coming back up here um, to be mixed together back uh, into the uh, audio interface so you can hear them. In live, start over here. Um, on this MIDI track, we're going to put a, uh, a drum rack, like so. And then we're also going to use uh, an ES4 controller plugin. This one here, on another track. Now, um, the way we're going to route this, the ES4 controller needs to send its audio output to my SPDIF connection, um, which is outputs 9, 10, 10 here. We need to set the monitor to in, and MIDI from is going to take it from the drum rack, like so. Um, on the ES4 controller, uh, we're going to turn off the normal MIDI to CV converter, and we're going to turn on the gates um, Converters. The uh, this the gate expander is connected to channel four, so we'll put channel four on MIDI channel one, and we'll leave the bass note at forty eight. Um, now back into live, uh, MIDI note forty eight corresponds to C two, so we're going to be using these triggers uh, from C two upwards. Uh, now we don't need to put anything on those. Uh, tracks in particular, but it makes it slightly more convenient if we just drop something like a utility on each one, because then uh, live just remembers that we're going to use them. And um, so, yeah, so C2, note 48, the six ones up from that. The way I've got it uh, connected, I just put some names on them. That one's the bass drum, that one's the snare and so on. So if we create a MIDI track, a MIDI clip, like so, um, a bit more space here, zoom out of it. Then we can just start putting in some, some notes, play that back, and you can see the ES4, you can see some blips in the activity indicators there, and on the gate expander, our bass drum trigger is now tapping away so we can throw in what we like to that I just uh, rather than trying to do something coherent now if I just drop in a pattern I made earlier there we go lots of lovely LED activity on the gate expander um, and it's as simple as that lots and lots of drum triggers from one module all right, that's it. Cheers, bye.